It's been almost 10 years since little Pluto was demoted mm -hmm. from being a planet, but today scientists from the California Institute of Technology have announced that they finally have solid evidence for a planet X, a true ninth planet on the edge of our solar system. While the ninth planet has not uh, officially or technically been spotted yet, it is believed to be far beyond the orbit of Pluto, roughly the size of Neptune, with a mass 10 times that of Earth. Staff writer for the Scientific American, Michael Lemonick, has written an article in the upcoming issue and is here to tell us more about this incredible discovery. Hi, Michael. Hi. So how did this discovery come about? It came about because there are things out there, little icy objects that are uh, orbiting in a funny way, and nobody was quite sure why. It seemed like there might be something with gravity pulling on them, but nobody quite understood. And finally, these scientists that you talked about uh, took a really hard look at it, did simulations, calculations, and they came up with the explanation, it probably is this giant planet. I, I think I read somewhere it orbits the sun every 10,000 to 20,000 years. Right. Uh, is that why no one has seen it to this no, point? No, that's not why. It's because it's so dim. It's, it's so far away that even though it's big, it's very, very dim and it would be very tough to spot with a telescope. I'm also fascinated at the idea that this planet could be so far out there and still our sun be the mass that is keeping it in the gravitational pull of our solar system. Right, right, yeah, but no, that's, it's true. That's incredible. And so there was a thought at one point from scientists that when they thought that there was something beyond Pluto, that it might have been all the mass of objects floating in the, in the Kyber belt, but it's not. Right, so, so the, all those objects are out there and they have a lot of mass, and originally the scientists said, look, a planet is such a crazy idea, <laughs> maybe it's the Kuiper Belt itself that's pulling it on, on itself and making these, these orbits look funny. And they ran simulations and they tried to make that work and it didn't work, it mm. just didn't work. There's not enough stuff out there. What does this tell us about our solar system? Well, one thing it tells us is that we don't really understand it as well as we thought we did. <laughs> and another is that it probably had a very violent beginning. This thing was probably formed much closer in and then flung out, maybe in a close encounter with Jupiter or something. Wow, that is really incredible. And, and when we talk about the, the mass of this planet X, this ninth planet, being 10 times that of Earth, for those who are not scientists, what does that really mean, the mass of a planet versus Earth's mass? Well, if you could put it on a scale, how much it would weigh. Yeah. I mean, that's really it. And, and so it's bigger, it's bulkier, it's, it's got more heft, it's got more gravity. It's this huge elephant in the living room, except we didn't know it was there. Mm -hmm. You mentioned that scientists haven't seen it yet because of how far away it is and right. how dim it is. Right. Is there a way for them to get f visual evidence? Yes, so, so the biggest telescopes in the world can theoretically see this thing if they're looking in exactly the right place. And with the publication of this new paper today, uh, they are now going to start to look in earnest. This is such a fascinating, and I, so, and, so, and again, a lot of scientists believe that by figuring out that there is this ninth planet out there, that will give us even more insight into the birth of our solar system. Exactly, yeah, to, to understand what happened in the first million, hundred million years. And, and so, and the idea being that if we go with the hypothesis of the theory of the Big Bang Theory, that there was the, that this massive explosion and these planets were flung out and you have this ninth planet, and then you have all of our other planets in, in a row, essentially. How does that work? Well, so, so the formation of the sun and all the planets happened long, long after the Big Bang. It's not really directly related. But the idea is that there was this big cloud of gas and dust mm -hmm. just swirling around, and it shrank and condensed and got smaller and smaller. And the and center <clears throat> burst into, into being as the sun, and the stuff around the edges condensed into being the planets. And then the question is, what happened next? Did they crash into each other? Did they fling each other around? And it looks like they probably did. So that, that's, that's sort of, I guess, what I'm hammering at. It could be that um, this explosion was so violent, and then we can't even imagine it, that you have a piece of it, a piece of that, some of that, those masses that are way, way out there beyond Pluto. Right, right. That it was, it's really part of those first few moments and the violence that happened then. Right. And those closer to the sun happened millions of years, perhaps. I don't know the, the, the time frame, yeah. but, but after planets that are further out. Well, I, not really. No, no. It no? really, it all happened at the same time. The thing is that uh, there was little enough material in the inner solar system that Earth and those other planets kind of formed and that was it. But further out where there was a lot more gas and a lot more large objects, it got really kind of violent. Just really quickly, I'm wondering if, if you can put into perspective for us how much further out there 
is this planet X then the rest of the planets in the solar system? I mean, it's, it's well. It's, so, so Pluto we think of as the really out at the very edge, mm -hmm. the, the very farthest thing that you could call a planet, even though we don't anymore. <laughs> and um, I still, I'm still supporting Pluto's I, no, right, right to be a planet. <laughs> and, uh, um, but uh, this thing is five times further out wow. than Pluto. Fascinating. Fascinating. Is yeah. there any chance it's not a planet? It, no, it. there's always. It, it, it's very foolish to say no chance because um, you know you just don't know what you don't know. But the odds are looking very, very good. 60 billion miles from the sun. Yep. Amazing stuff. Michael Lemonick, thank you so much. Fascinating stuff. Great, thanks.